video. So um, I know that I said I was going to do this video on the beach today. I actually woke up around 7, 7.30 this morning because I planned on going real early to beat traffic and, you know, all the people that stay down there and then, you know, for the vacationers. So I wanted to beat all of that traffic. And I woke up, it was 63 degrees outside. I'm like, why is it so cool? Not that it doesn't feel good because it does, but I wanted it to be like hot, hot, like scorching hot. Because after the video, I actually wanted to go jump in the water. <laughs> but um, yeah, that did that that didn't happen this morning. And mind you, what time is it? It's ten oh eight a.m. down here in Miami, Florida, right now. So usually around this time, I mean, it's hot. But Mother Nature was—I don't know what's going on with her. Because the beginning of last week, it was scorching hot down here. I mean, yeah, it probably said it's about eighty-five degrees outside, but it felt like a hundred. I mean, it's ridiculous. We Down here, it's usually summer most of the year. So I don't know what the hell is going on. And then Friday, it's like we had, I mean, it was so dark outside. It went from sun to dark, I mean, within a matter of minutes. It came out of nowhere. And then it started raining, and then it stopped. And then the weekend is cool. And I was like, this sucks, because I didn't want to go on the beach in, in a damn jacket to sit here and record the video. No. I wanted to record it, you know, um, on the beach in the sand and, you know, people walking by in the bikinis and beach shorts and stuff, you know, what I, I mean, no, no. So they said it's not going to get hot until about one o'clock and I'm like, I don't want to wait that long to record my video. So today I'll be doing it at home and I guess we'll try again next week. So apologies. <laughs> but without further ado, let's go ahead and start as Miami. So first episode, first episode, Jesus. First question <laughs> from David Brown, 1995. I know you mentioned a while back that you would want to travel to visit California one day. What part would you want to visit? North Cali or South Cali or both? I would definitely want to do both. When I make my first visit to Cali, I want to be there for about five to seven days. So yeah, definitely want to do that. What would you want to do while you are there? I want to go to the, the walk thing with all the stars, the Hollywood Walk of Fame. I want to go there. And um... And then I would like to go to the beaches. Definitely want to do that. Heard it's beautiful. It's like here, but just on the west side. Um, and there was something else that I saw that I wanted to do. They have those little trips that you can do while you're there. Uh, I couldn't, I can't remember which one that I picked so far back. Way back when. Yeah, that, 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 that's a better term for it. But I can't remember what it was. But um, it's one other thing that I want to do while I'm there. But that's definitely my main concern or main thing I want to do. <laughs> All right. Next question is from dboy305. Would you date someone you met through social media? Yeah, I, I would. I mean, people act like people can't find love and shit on the Internet. I mean, I've met a couple couples that have actually been together uh, about three or four years now off of the internet some people act like that's impossible i mean you can find love anywhere in my personal opinion i think it's a beautiful thing so but yeah i definitely would if i was interested if yes can we go to the movie you seem like an awesome movie date <laughs> well um i don't go to the movies by myself unless i have to nine times out of ten i have my family with me so if you would like to come with my family and i you're more than welcome. <laughs> Next question is from Fred Johnson. Finally a sober week. <laughs> yeah, for your ass. <laughs> All right, question one. What is your time frame for achieving your dream body? I was slacking last week. Okay, I did lose five pounds last month. And I was slacking not on the eating, but on the working out. I was, I'm not depressed or anything. It's just that I don't know why I've been so tired. Like I would get up, take a shower, go to work, get off work. It takes, I get, my, my schedule is 9.30 to 6. And it takes me an hour to get home. The traffic down here in Miami is fucking ridiculous. And then if there's a video to do, I have to do the video. And then once I do the video, I render it, then upload it. And then I jump in bed and go to sleep. And I don't know, last week I've just, I was just so tired. But this week and the rest of the month, that's not happening. I'm getting my ass up and going regardless. 
even if it kills me. But the time frame, I want, I actually want to drop these 20 pounds, 25, around July the latest. So I got two months. Yeah, I'm going hard in the paint. Okay, question number two. What has been the best invention of this decade? Fire stick, iPad, note, etc. Fire stick? <laughs> Fire stick, definitely. Definitely. All right, number three. If you were trapped in an elevator with a close friend of the opposite sex, how do you believe their friend will entertain you to make a bad situation great? Well, I've been stuck in an elevator before, actually two or three times. The first time I got stuck in an elevator, I was in New York with my cousin. And um, and we dropped to the floor of the elevator, and it kept going up and down for a little bit. Then it stopped. And then we I think we were stuck in there for maybe five or ten minutes. And, uh, and then when the doors finally open and everybody see us, <laughs> and we're on the floor, we get up, and then they come in there and help us out. And then we let each other and started laughing. So, but um, it's not, a, I wouldn't say it's a bad situation. Like it's fucked up. Like, you know, we're stuck in the elevator. But I mean, most of my friends or my male friends, since you said opposite sex, we would just sit there and like, you know, crack jokes and talk about movies and video games and shit. I mean, everybody that knows me and is close to me know what I love and what I don't. They know what I like and don't like. So, yeah, I think we'll be good regardless. So. All right, next questions are from Kyle Mitchell. Hi, Tia. Who would you consider to be the better leader in the Power Rangers TV show, Tommy or Jason? Jason. How do you recover from a long day or, in other words, bounce back and be ready for the next day or time you go out? I just rest, man. Like, I, I mean, sometimes I only get about six or seven hours of sleep, but I make sure I sleep. Now, back in the day when I wasn't working and I knew I had to get up and go to an interview or whatever the case may be, I would take a sleeping pill. And when you wake up, it makes you feel kind of groggy. So I've learned to keep myself from that unless it's absolutely necessary. But um, just sleep, man. I just lay in the bed and just lay in the dark and close my eyes until I fall asleep. If it's killing me that I can't sleep. All right, next question. I know you play horror games, but do you play any racing games or adventure quest games? I play everything except sports. Sports games is the only thing I don't play, but everything else I play. Is there something you would like to achieve that you have not got yet? These 25 fucking pounds down. That's what that that is my that is my I guess short-term goal to the summer. Yeah. Most names have some kind of meaning behind it, does yours? Well, my name is Tia, T-I-A. It's not short for anything. But my mother named me after her mother because my grandmother's name was Vertia, V-E-R-T-I-A. So she just took the ver and I took the Tia. <laughs> That's all. Okay, have you tried the Dickie store on 47th Ave next to the Palmetto? They might have some deals on shirts. Oh, yeah, I know about that. I go there all the time. But, um, you know, kind of. I wouldn't say I'm, I'm broke, but I can't afford, like, you know, because when I bought my shirts there before, they were like $15, $20 each. So, um, and since this was my first week of work, uh, I only, I'm only getting one week worth of pay, not two weeks. So this is not going to be a full first check. Uh, so I'll probably do that at the end of this month. But yes, I know about that. Definitely do. Thank you. Did you go to your middle school or high school prom or grad night? I sure did. I did both. It was awesome. I was a senior graduating high school. And I even got a job. I started working at Win Dixie, the one that's on 111th and 7th Avenue. And I didn't want my parents telling me, no, I can't do this, can't do that this senior year. I worked hard my 12 years in school. I'll be damned if I can't do nothing my senior year. So I, I paid for everything and went to everything that was a senior activity. I did it. And it was awesome. I have a whole bunch of pictures and everything. It was beautiful. Class of 2004. <laughs> awesome. Okay, have you ever had an injury that left you bed for more than a couple of weeks? Nope, never, never, never. Thank God. And one, okay, one final question. If you could be in a DC movie or Marvel movie, which would you pick and what role would you like to play if you had the choice? Hmm. Damn. 
see the DC movies haven't been doing great. Well, for DCU, I mean, if you don't count the Nolan movies or the ones that came out before they started this. Uh, and Marvel movies have all been doing great. Uh, when I say they, that the DC movies have been doing great, but you know, some of I didn't like them, but we all know what I like and don't like already, so I don't have to go there. But if I had to pick between the two, damn you in this hard ass question, man, because if it's a Nolan movie, because, well, he said that he's not going to do any more superhero movies. But if he was to come back and do another DC movie, I don't give a fuck what it is. I would love to be in that movie. Without a second thought. But then Marvel and Gunn, because he's awesome, I would love to be in any Marvel movie that he does. Because, you know, he does Guardians. So I don't... Damn. You know, for right now, since I'm feeling the Marvel movies more than DC movies, I'm going to go with the Marvel movie. So a Marvel movie, and I i don't know if I would be the good guy or the bad guy. I would probably be a bad guy. Yeah, I think I would be a bad guy. I don't know what my name would be, but yeah, yeah I think I would be a bad guy. <laughs> All right. Thanks for those questions, Kyle. Those were awesome. <laughs> All right. Next question. Oh, questions are from Brittany. How would you turn down a coworker that has an interest in you? I mean, just be polite. I mean, just tell them that you're not interested. I mean, what more could you do? I mean, just be honest. Uh, next question from Brittany. Nosy, co uh, nosy coworkers, chocolate laxative in the cake or just tell them to mind their business? I mean, the petty answer, I would say both, but I don't condone pettiness. <laughs> I mean, certain situations there, it, it calls, calls for a, calls for an exception. But for this, just tell them to mind their business. Yeah, I would tell them to mind their business. All right, is there a difference when it comes to light-skinned guys and dark-skinned guys? No. I mean, all beautiful, all men are beautiful to me. I mean, I don't give a fuck what color you are, like. Yo, if you got it, you got it. Simple. Simple. How do you feel about dating two guys at the same time? I've never done that. Never will do that. I mean, it's already hard enough dating one. How could you keep up with two or three or four? I don't see how men and women do it. I just, because I mean, because you're, you're telling the truth to one and you're lying to one and then telling the truth to this one and then lying to that one. I mean, that's a lot of work. And then you got to keep up with the lies. I just know. I couldn't, nope, couldn't do it. I mean, I'm not judging to each their own. But me personally, I, I couldn't do it, man. I couldn't do it. I mean, being with one man is already a fucking handful. How could you do two? I, mm -mm. <laughs> me? Nah. Don't have the patience. Mm -mm. Can't do it. <laughs> All right, next question is from Captain Crump. How was the first week at the new job? It was awesome. This week went by so damn fast, but... I'm learning and everybody is so happy to have me back because I t actually did a temp position at this job and they had somebody there and they didn't work out and she called me right back. I loved the fact that she told me she enjoyed me. She enjoyed my personality. She enjoyed the way and was very pleased with how I work and how fast I work and how hard I work. And I am so happy that my actions showed the type of person that I am. Like my actions spoke for me. I didn't have to say anything. And when I went to that interview, I mean, I cried so hard when she told me that I had the job. Like I'm about to, about to tear up. Oh, because I mean, for the last four years or four and a half years, I've been doing nothing but temp work. It's, I mean, it's really, really hard to find work. And that's anywhere, not just, you know, down here in Miami. And um, <clears throat> look, I'm about to choke and shit. But, um, yeah, that's what I've been doing because I don't like not working. Of course, I was applying like out my ass for jobs. But when you have certain experience and they see your resume, they either see the amount of jobs you had or they see the amount of experience or both. And they don't want to hire you because they don't want to pay you. So and that's what I was going through. So it, it sucks. 
But I've been blessed with a permanent job, and I love the people there, and I enjoy what I'm going to be doing, and it's just, it's just awesome, man. So, yeah. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> Tears didn't fall. I'm good. <laughs> All right. Next question is from Trevion W. What is your favorite fighting game, and are you getting Injustice 2? Favorite fighting game would be Mortal Kombat, because that's why I started back on the 64. <laughs> And of course, I played Tekken, so, um, but yeah, Mortal Kombat is my favorite. And in Justice 2, I will be getting that. That shit is going to be awesome. But the reveal of the Joker, which was so sexy, by the way, uh, he was killed in the first one. So is he back, like, you know, in dreams? Like, he's in a hallucination or something like that? I haven't read up on it, so I guess I'm going to have to do that, but that's going to be awesome. All right, next question is from T. Feezy. What do you think about Attack on Titan Season 2? So far, so good. I, I think I actually missed the last two episodes this um, weekend. I think this Saturday I missed and then the Saturday before. So I'm actually going to catch up on that once I finish this video. But so far, so good. Number two, have you watched the anime Parasite? If so, what did you think of it? If not, what the fuck, Tia? Get on it, slacker. Laughing my ass off. Hell yeah, I saw Parasite. That was the most sickening fucking anime I have ever seen. And I mean that in a very, very good way. Actually, a great way. That's a compliment. I mean, the the way that they, the way that they spoke about what they do, and why they do what they do. It sounds like us humans. Like we're fucking parasites. Like seriously, when you stop and think about it. And if you guys haven't seen this anime, you need to go watch it. Um, I watched all episodes on Hulu. So if you got Hulu, check it out or Kiss Anime. Probably, most likely it's there too but uh that shit was very gory and i'm not talking like well i guess there's no way to be subtle with gore but it was it was oh just the thought of it is, is bringing back memories it was so eerie but it was awesome it, it was awesome man oh whew, yes oh maybe want to watch it again just for the hell of it all right, next question. Have you watched My Hero Academia? If so, what do you think of it? If not, get on that. Yep, I haven't watched it. So, and um, I think uh, two other people mentioned this to me. Maybe three. Okay, so it's something to watch. So I would definitely do that. Most of. All right, question number three. Top five best new anime. No old school shit either. Expand your palette. <laughs> Whatever, my palette is expanded. Thank you. But if I had to pick five anime off the top of my head, um, I guess that's, you know, right now. Um, now, I don't I don't know when God Eater came out, but I thought that was awesome. My homie put me on that. I think I watched that a couple months ago. And um, Parasite was another one that I finished last year, so it definitely goes on the list. And I finished Attack on Titan Season 1 a couple weeks ago. So that was definitely good to me. I know some people that actually don't like it, but I enjoyed it. I mean, the eating humans is sickening, but I enjoy it a lot. Um, and One Punch Man, that's my shit. I can't tell you how many times I sat there and watched that shit over and over and over again. And five, um, no, the vampire one came out in 2008, so that's an old one. So for five... Hmm. Which one did I finish recently besides Attack on Titan? Um, yeah, I don't think I finished any other ones. Oh, yes, I did. The G one that you mentioned, actually. That one. The G0, the Geo, whatever that one is. That one. That's good, too. So, those five there. <laughs> Douche. <laughs> All right, last one. What's an anime that pulled you into the story so hard you couldn't stop watching? For me, it would be my all-time favorite FMA or Full Metal Alchemist from beginning to end. It'll have you on the edge of your chair and in tears at some points. Hmm. And you know I never finished it. I never finished it. But um, the one where I been I mean, I binged. I didn't stop. Uh, oh, my goodness. And it was it was awesome, too. Um, not kill a kill, even though I love that one too. Akami, Akami got killed. That shit was great and emotional. 
like damn just the thought oh yeah so um yeah that that one right there and that's a recent one too so it's not old <laughs> love your questions appreciate it all right next um questions are from shardy main 88 damn i've been slipping so hard on these but i i got you love here we go all right so one a lot of gamers are known more for the badass characters they have more than for the game itself do you have a favorite and if so who and from what game well there's a lot of games um that i like and people know that i love horror the most um but if i had to pick one i'm gonna say dead space and his name is isaac clark and that game, the first one, oh my goodness, loved it, loved it, loved it, horrifying and just great. And the story was great as well. So I don't know if they're coming out with a fourth one, but the way the third one ended, they should. Visceral Games need to get back on that shit, but that's a whole other conversation. But okay, number two, do you think The Walking Dead should ever make a full on game outside of the Telltale games? Why or why not? Well, they came out with that whack ass one that came with uh, Daryl and I and one of my friends actually got that for me as a gift and because they know I love The Walking Dead which is which was cool but I didn't even they game didn't last 10 minutes in my house and took it back now Telltale excuse me they're actually very good at storytelling so The Walking Dead games from their versions was awesome but a full on Walking Dead game I don't know if that would be a good idea I mean, who would do it? Activision? <laughs> That's funny. Um, but no, I don't know who would who would do it. Like, I don't even know how that would work or go. It's a good question, though. <laughs> All right, number three. Do you have any tattoos? No, I do not. If not, would you get any? Eh, I don't know, cause I don't know what the hell to put on me. I mean, I'm a Capricorn, so what I'm putting Capricorn on me? Like, uh, I don't know. I don't know what I would get. If I was to get one, I honestly don't know. All right, number four. What are your feelings so far for Into the Badlands second season? Look, yo, this this season is phenomenal, man. I mean, the show itself is awesome. I don't understand why some people aren't on it. Like they sleeping on this this show, like seriously. But yeah, it's awesome. It's it's actually pretty damn awesome. All right, next questions are from Pretty Boy. What are your plans for this summer? To lose weight. And I actually want to start doing uh, cosplay videos. I mean, the work, well, the money hasn't been there because the job was just on and off. Oh, it was horrible. But now that I actually have permanent work, I'll be working on that. And actually, the first costume, I'm not sure what I'm going to do yet. I actually have to go back to that video and see if I said what my first costume was going to be because I don't remember. But those are going to be my plans for the summer, to lose the weight, to do cosplay videos, more vlogs. It's just going to be a great summer. I'm actually looking forward to it. And number two, have you ever seen the Twilight movies? Duh. <laughs> what did you think of them? I thought they were good. I mean, I never read the books. Of course, the books were better, especially from that, what I heard from people who told me they read the books. So I knew that was coming. Um, but I enjoyed the movies. I really did. All of them. All of them. All right. Next questions are from Poor Rick. All right. Number one, favorite three course meal. I am a lover of chicken. I love chicken, anything chicken, chicken legs, chicken thighs, chicken breasts, love chicken. Macaroni and cheese or rice would be on there as well. And then for vegetable, it can be corn, it could be asparagus, it could be green beans, it could be broccoli, it could be carrots, it could be cauliflower. I love vegetables. So that would be my three course meal right there, man. That, that right there right there oh oh jeez. <laughs> oh my goodness all right number two do you like skinny lean or heavily muscular men i actually don't really care about your size i mean if i fall for you and you're obese i'm definitely gonna help you lose that weight definitely going to encourage that because it's not healthy um so as your partner i would definitely help you with that but i don't like those overly like swole ass dudes i mean with every muscle coming out on all parts of their body I, I find that to be a little disgusting and a little bit of a turn off not a little bit a lot <laughs> so um yeah but other than that i mean if you're physically fit like toned that's hot if you're skinny lean i don't care but those 
bodybuilding dudes with you know mountains of muscle i don't find that sexy at all at all all right number three would you ever consider coming to ireland it basically rains every day so you might not be compatible with it from where you live well when it rains down here it's fucking annoying so i don't think i will mind and since i've never been to ireland i definitely wouldn't mind that weather at all and uh that's that's I have a bucket list, like, as long as this weave, um, but Ireland is some place I would definitely like to visit, hopefully before I die, so we'll see. <laughs> All right, and last question of the day for Ask Miami, what's the number one thing you're most, you're from none to, sorry, what's the number one thing you're most excited about The Last Jedi? Mine is seeing Luke in action, also seeing Carrie Fisher portraying Princess Leia one last time. And that's, de that's definitely the same thing for me. Um, yeah, that's definitely the same thing for me. I mean, rest in peace, Carrie. Uh, that's, that's quite unfortunate. But um, her last performance, I want to see. I want to see Luke and what's going to happen between him and, uh, and the other... Uh, what is her name? It's not coming to me right now. But yes, the other Jedi. So, the last Jedi, it seems like if somebody's going to die, I just want to know if that's actually accurate. Or are they both going to live? Like, I can't wait to see it. I'm very excited. And I have to say that, um, we got one more question here. I actually got this question, came straight from Twitter. And they sent it to me, um, two hours ago. So I'm going to go ahead and answer it on video while I'm here. <laughs> All right. So the last, last question of the day is from Ronnie De Niro. What season do you think they will finally end The Walking Dead? And who do you think will survive? Um, We're already going to be on season eight come October. And they actually said that they want to make it to 10. And if they can go further than 10, they can. Or they will. And so, I mean, it's a comic book TV show. So this shit can go on for like ever. I mean, if you guys know about Supernatural, Supernatural is on right now. And that shit has been on for what, 12, 13 seasons? 12 seasons. It's been on since 2005. So, and that shit is still running. So yeah, I think uh, Walking Dead can definitely go to about maybe maybe what 14 15 seasons is that too much yeah but I think that'd be good and who will die I mean Rick is probably going to die they haven't killed him yet but I think Rick will be the one to go if it goes that long, I mean, he's been, he's the main character. He's the star of the show. So if they had to kill somebody off when it ends, yeah, it's definitely going to be Rick. I think so. I think it's going to be Rick. Okay, so that was the last question of the day for Ask Miami. Oh my goodness, this damn video is almost 30 minutes long. And I know a lot of you are probably not even going to make it all the way to the end. And that's okay. <laughs> But I did enjoy all of the questions, man. You guys are awesome. And um, I want to welcome the new subscribers to my channel. Uh, thank you for subscribing. Thank you for the support. And I hope you enjoy my channel and to bring some friends and family. And yeah, I, if you have any ideas that you want to see, you can email me or message me on here, whatever the case may be. I am welcoming all ideas. So um, I want to wish everybody an awesome and happy Sunday and uh, be safe if you're going out. And for those of you in school, have a great week. Well, everybody have a great week, but you know, if you're in school, have a great week. Have a great week at work for those of you working and get money. And uh, yeah, so um, as always, <laughs> if you enjoyed my video, give a like and subscribe. And make sure you get your questions in for next week's my Ask Miami. Ugh. You can leave it in the comment section below or you can hit me up on Twitter at MiamiChick85, hashtag Ask Miami. And I will see you guys in my next video. Deuces. <laughs>